In this video, let us try to understand the working of NMOS inverter delay. This is the diagram for this particular NMOS inverter delay where two NOT gates are connected back to back and here this square CG indicates load. Now here I have elaborated this particular NOT gate but I have drawn it only in terms of NMOS. Earlier we have seen that CMOS contains both PMOS as well as NMOS. Now here I am making use of only NMOS whereas this part you can consider it as a resistor. This part also you can consider it as a resistor. Means the diagram looks something like this where resistor will be present and this is what NMOS. Now this is a point at which I will try to apply the input. So here I will apply input and here I will take output. The same thing I have written here. This is input this one is output. So simply these two NOT gates are replaced with its equivalent diagram and the same load capacitor is present. Now we have to analyze the working of it by applying different inputs. So there are only two inputs present that is you can apply V input is equal to 0 or else you can apply V input is equal to 1 means you can consider this as 0 volt this one as 5 volt. If you want you can write it as VDD also. So let me take case number 1. In case 1, I will apply V input is equal to VDD, which can consider it as logic 1 or else you can consider it as 5 volt, anything is fine. So if I apply here it is 1, this particular NMOS will be in on state. So if it is in on state, this particular load capacitor starts discharging. So if you apply V input is equal to VDD, you will get discharge time. So generally time constant is something indicated with tau called as R into C. So every wire will have some amount of delay associated with it. So it will be indicated with tau called as R into C. Now for this case number 1 we have to write the discharging time constant. So I will consider it as tau 1 which is R. You can consider this as resistor pull down or else you can write it as R N. If not, you can write it as R S. Anything is fine. So the simple N MOS can be indicated with pull down or else R N or else R S. All are same. So time constant tau 1 is R pull down into square C G. So this is our equation number 1. Now let me take case number 2. So in case number 2, I will apply v input is equal to 0. If I apply v input is equal to 0 here, this one will be in off state. Off means it is open circuit. So there exists a path for this particular square CG to get charge. So here we get charging time constant. So I will take it as tau 2 which is again same. Always tau is indicated with R into C. But here the difference is this particular resistor will get involved. So this can be indicated with R pull up or else you can write it as R P. Anything is fine. So I'll take it as R pull up into square C G. This is our equation number 2. So we got two equations that is we got tau 1 as R pull down into square C G which is number 1 and tau2 is r pull up into square cg if i want overall delay so it will be total delay is equal to tau1 plus tau2 simply try to add them so it is r pull up into square cg plus r pull down into square cg so if i take square cg as common it becomes R pull up plus R pull down. Here you have to re remember one relation like pull up to pull down ratio. R pull up to R pull down ratio will be 4 is to 1. Means simply pull up is 4 times pull down. So substitute that condition. So tau D is equal to square CG. So pull up is 4 times R PD plus R PD which is pull down. So this becomes square CG into 5 times RPD. We already know that tau is something which is R into C. 
so what i'll do is i'll simply replace this particular delta cg and rpd with tau so that you can write this as phi tau so this is the total delay this is the final answer for nmos inverter delay which is phi times time constant tau d is equal to phi tau